Hello everybody, welcome back once again. Nick Pancakes plays Kerbal Space Program in our last uh, our last video with a terrible terrible fate for a few uh, unlucky Kerbal Knots. Let's see if we can find out where they're at right now. I think we should be able to track them. Unless I somehow managed to totally screw up my persistence file, which would really suck. Um, either I've experienced some bug, or I did just that. Because all I see is Cosby 1 debris. Well, that sucks. Um, that means no rescue mission, unless I'm missing something. Um, I don't think I'm missing anything. Damn, I'm sorry guys. Um, I will look into that. Uh, but unfortunately that means there's no there's no Kerbal Knots floating around our planet as I previously would have assumed. Uh, I'm sure we'll get some others stuck there and have to rescue them someday. But for now, we are going to make some more modifications to the Cabrina model and see if we can uh, actually do what we've been trying to do here, which if you remember correctly is to attempt to have this final stage here be fully intact and have it land um, intact rocket side down upright back on Kerbin after doing let's say one full uh, rotation around around Kerbin uh, one full orbit and we're, we've we're, we've been able to get into orbit um, as of the Cabrina 4 but haven't really manage to get back out again so um, we need to very much be able to get completely in orbit with just these two stages and hopefully not use any of this fuel uh, and leave this fuel to be uh, purely for re-entry and for uh, placing ourselves onto the planet so let us um, I think what I'm gonna do so I have these ones these ones I believe are uh, the vectoring engines they definitely look to be so what we're going to do is we're going to put some decouplers on each of these and of course I'm going to turn on symmetry and synaptic angles which I always forget to do let's throw some more fuel tanks we're going to make this guy super long I'm going to add an additional stage here I think that's that's going to be what's required to get us what, where we want to go um, let's put some struts in two of these big fuel tanks and two or three or you know one on each section here of the um, not thrust vectoring purely 200 max thrust engines and we will attach to those um, well let's put yeah so I, th I think we're gonna go with some extra uh, solid core, solid fuel boosters. Three, maybe three, maybe more. Got some awesome ambient space jams from Soma FM playing. Let's go with that. Looks good. I like that. Let's take a look at this from above. That's very, very much uneven. <laughs> if you can't tell. This engine is not nearly in the same position as the other one. That's right. That's what we're looking for. Okay. Some more struts to get this all going. And that'll that'll put us in a, a pretty good spot, I think, if we have stage one, stage two, stage three, and that will put us into possibly even back out of orbit, leaving us with stage four to uh, land on 
back on Kerbin, um, which would be a demo for what we would like to happen on Moon. Uh, I have no idea if this is enough fuel to get us fr back from the Moon. Uh, it may not be, but that is not the mission of Katrina yet. We just want to, we want to demo it, be able to have something that is a mock moon landing. Um, we don't need to worry about getting back just yet. So this should be plenty of power to get us uh, up off the ground with, I mean, nine solid core should be plenty. And then uh, a couple fuel tanks here of pure power. And then three more fuel tanks of some uh, some thrust vectoring engines that will allow us to maneuver fairly easily. Let's add um, a little more maneuverability so that our uh, SAS controls can keep us nice and level by adding some fins on here. Actually, I don't want those to quite touch the ground. There you go. Um, and it probably would be worthwhile to put some up here too. Let's just move these up here. How about that? We'll call that a day. I'm going to say that'll have to do. All right, so this is uh, our explosive little offshoots here, I believe. Yeah. We're going to move those up here. So that when we, as soon as we set those off, we start at this in these engines. As soon as we set these off, we get. As soon as we knock these guys off, that is, we start at these engines. Might actually, uh, I might have done that wrong. Just in case, I'm gonna go ahead and throw these down here and these engines down here. That more closely matches this, and I'd rather play it safe. We'll go ahead and uh, say that's all. All right, Katrina 5, let's do this. All right, looking quite tall. I'm fairly certain I've seen less less firepower get someone to, uh, to moon, but I unfortunately I'm not experienced enough to understand how much I need. So, um, hey, we have Jeb here. Jeb's a popular guy. Let's go ahead and give the countdown. Five, four, three, two, and blast off. Shit, SAS needs to be on. We are not looking too good. I'm going to try and manually stabilize us here. Get us flying upwards again. Uh, SAS is stopping me. Come on, come on. Let's get back. That's not good. All right, let's go ahead and ditch some stuff and get these engines floating. Let's turn SAS back on again. Stabilize us a little bit. Let's get our thrust up. Come on, SAS. It's not enough thrust to get this. Well, we are gaining altitude. Okay, cool. I'm going to be able to save these guys, which is good. Uh, but unfortunately, we have some technical issues with this model. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and call this flight. Um, I'm going to get us up above a thousand feet before I ditch this stage. I'm going to throttle it off first. Uh, let's get us out of here a little bit away from that stuff. Get these guys into the ocean here. Why is it not detached? Shit. Come on. There we go. That was scary. Don't run back into it. Please don't run back into it. Is my parachute still there? Okay. That was a little scary. All is well. Okay. So at least we didn't kill anybody, which, you know, that makes me happy. I, I much prefer to lose a, lose a lot of money here than to lose more curval knots. These guys are not on death. These are not death row inmates by any means. These are trained, highly professional curval knots. And we do not want to lose them by any means. So what went wrong? Just too top heavy. Um, 
everything detached successfully it seems um we just had a really bad takeoff you know what let's go ahead and hmm, i'm gonna go ahead and call it and say that we're just gonna do another launch with sas turned off turned on right off the bat um although there was there was in fact some failure after launch when i after i tried to correct us a bit hmm all right let's not do this what we're gonna uh what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off um one section of fuel i'm gonna set these aside reduce our height by a little bit of course i don't have symmetry on um that is not the right placement that is all right oh we'll call this katrina uh katrina 5 mark 2 just because all we did was remove a fuel section i don't think that's worthy of, worthy of a new name just yet yeah clear the pad i don't know what, what fell back to the launch pad but so let's see if, if that was it, if our problem was simply not having SAS off right off the bat and uh, being a little too tall and unstable. I'm going to turn SAS off or SAS on right away before we even start and uh, give a quick countdown. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and blast off. So let's see what happens here if we have a similar failure. At least I'm, I'm feeling a little more confident in my... What are they overheating? Or they're just burning each other up. That's not good. Oh shit, I'm ditching those. I like that they didn't kill me. That's nice. So that makes sense. Um I didn't real notice that was happening last time, probably because I was uh too busy trying to correct my own uh heading and make sure I didn't actually crash us straight into the ocean. Which, you know, I did fairly successfully. I'm I'm pretty proud of myself. That was something I Definitely did not do very well before. Um, let's go ahead and speed this up a bit. Obviously, we will not be using the same exact design again, but um, we're going to go ahead and give a shot at uh, fulfilling the Cabrina mission statement here with this ship anyway. To get a little bit off the ground with those uh, solid fuel boosters. Not as much as I would have liked, but enough nonetheless. Got a very straight up heading. Thanks to our advanced SAS and our, our wings up here. Um, let's go ahead and check where we're at so far. Our apoapsis is growing we need to get that above 100 of course it's gonna go uh oh shit what happened oh god that was bad go 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 oh all right man that was terrible i was on the map we ran out of fuel on our uh first section there and these guys are not not chained together you see them having quite a bit of wobble here. Um, which, if we didn't have SAS on, would probably be a terrible fate. So I'll make sure to fix that in the next design as well. But this uh, this simply is not going to be enough to get us up without those solid fuel boosters being able to run their full gamut. Which is quite unfortunate. We're already drained of their first fuel tanks. Um... I mean, it's obviously growing a lot faster now. Ditched a lot of weight. I wonder why I have uh, three new Kerbal Melts. Maybe I just ended too soon. But I should should have still had Jeb. Jeb's, Jeb and his buddies are still alive. Alright, this is about to end here. Ditch that last set. Um, and I, I'm just going to go ahead and start turning our heading. Actually, I got, I had quite a high apoapsis before I started that. 
I did not realize. Let's go ahead and turn our heading a little more downward. We want just more forward rotation. Don't need such a high apple apsis. No, I don't want to throw us throw these guys to get lost in orbit like our previous guys. So it was not fun. Oh shit! Actually, uh, throttle down. We do not have very much fuel at all. We're not even gonna make it into orbit this time. Unfortunate. Well, we can, however, um, we do have enough fuel and, and apoapsis and end resulting location. Oh shit, it's not on land though. I might have enough fuel to try and land us up here on the polar cap and we could attempt to do a landing at the very least. Oops, I turned uh, sass off. Left us kind of wobbling there. Um, where are we heading? Can I speed this up to three? Looks like we're going this way. I'm going to try and. Uh, oops, for sass. Why can I never find the T key when I'm not looking? Turn off sass. Why aren't you turning off? You're just straight up not responding to any of my keys, Mr. Game. I don't like that. You're responding to M. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> What's happening? I have apparently lost communications with um, Cabrina 5 here. Um, I have absolutely no control over her. What the fuck happened? Why? What happened? I don't know if I'm glitched out or if something happened here. But this is not good because I can't correct them or even deploy their parachute to save them. Uh, let's turn our time back down. Maybe save us some. Come on. There. Oh, well, I got that at least. That's good. Uh, can I turn up? Ah, nice. Well, um, I kind of ditched shit that I, if I knew I had control, I wouldn't have ditched. But um, I'm gonna get these guys a upright heading here. Waste all the fuel, and then ditch it. All right, speed this up as they fall back, and we're gonna do another water landing. But that's much better than what was looking like was gonna happen. I believe I've deployed the parachute, so we should see it come out at, I think, uh, is it 10 kilometers that that starts off, and then 5 kilometers, yeah, so it's, or no, it's about 20 kilometers, 20 kilometers, we get some drag from it. Do I still have sass on or anything? Weird. And then at 5 kilometers, I think, or is it? 500 meters we get the full parachute opening yeah okay so 500 meters all right so water landing i'm i'm all right with that uh, okay structure failure and uh, we know our main problem our main problems i guess uh one being we don't have any struts up here And I wonder, well, no, because we definitely want the maneuverability that these provide. So we're not going to swap those out or anything. Let's get some struts up there. Of course I don't have symmetry on. Why would I have symmetry on? Um, and then, whoa, I definitely attached those completely wrong here.
and the solid solid fuel boosters are just not gonna work in our current layout. So let's try that instead. Strut together all these outside ones. Uh, there's actually some struts doing nothing here. And shall we call that enough? I think we might just call that enough. Let's see how that works out. Katrina 6. I think I keep switching between calling it Katrina and Cabrina. Um, pro ooh some structural failure right off the bat. That's not good. Fuel engine and fuel tank. Uh, just sitting too heavy on those guys, maybe. Let's see if we can't spread out the weight onto these solid fuel instead. It's like that's as low as I can go. Oh, that's not on there at all. And symmetry. And we're gonna move these uh these guys off as low as they can go. There, now we're resting on those instead. That should hopefully stop that structural failure from happening. Yeah, sounds like it. Okay. Um, as I was saying, I keep calling it Cabrina, Katrina. I'm not sure which I should have named it, but we'll have to ignore that. Hey, we got Jeb back. He must be back from his landing that was happening earlier. Um... I think everything looks right here. We should be good to go. Five, four, three, two, one, and blast off. Oh shit, Sass. Um is not helping. Uh get everything off. Get everything off. Get everything off. Get everything off. Nope. Sorry, Jeb. I probably uh I should have tried to rescue that. Oh man. I lost count of how many have died in in the Katrina mission now. I think that's 12. Might be 9. Ah, <sighs> okay. So I think our experiment into taller and another stage didn't exactly work out. I'm not positive where to go from here, to be quite honest. You know what, let's go ahead and uh, give some attempt into a um, jet engine based stage. It's going to be roughly the same design as we had last time. Which probably is going to spell for spell failure. Um, so if we do turbojet engines here, would, where, I don't even know what fuel they use or if they straight up, I don't know. This is just fuselage. RCS fuel. Can they use the liquid fuel? I don't know. I don't think they can because I think I've tried that before and they they straight up won't attach to the bottom. Oh, never mind. But there just is definitely not going to be enough to get us off the ground. So that's this. This is a little more experimental than I was thinking we were going to be doing here, but so be it. Let's get some, um, let's get just three solid fuel boosters on the very end here. Um, and then uh, move our jet engines down. So they start up as soon as we evict those. 
I'll move these down as well. I don't think this is going to get us very far, but it's going to be an interesting design either way. I haven't messed much with jet engines despite wanting to. And I keep I, I kept trying to use them in the earlier videos to no avail because I wasn't really aware of how they were supposed to be used. I may still have that wrong, but we're going to give it a shot anyway. So let's uh let's go ahead and stir this up. 5 4 3 2 1 and blast off. That's not going anywhere. That was brilliant. Yay, they didn't die. What the f What happened? What happened? Um, wasting loads of money here. Uh, it may just not have been enough power to get us off with just those three. Get us off. Um, things my neighbors are hearing me say that I wish they hadn't. At least we have ambient space jams. So let's try and get three more solid fuel boosters on here. Try and get ourselves off the ground. These jets should be a fun experiment, so this is good, probably going to be worthwhile if we can get it working. Worthwhile experiment. Why did that not? Oh, I guess it did. Never mind. I thought for a second it, it didn't uh, duplicate things to symmetry, but it's fine. I'm I'm wrong. Those are way lower. Why is that? Ah. There we go, that's better. I hope that's right. Uh, MK2, there's a lot, we're going through a lot of designs to try and do this and I still haven't even successfully uh, really had my last, my final stage come back to Kerbin. It's quite unfortunate. Five for, oh, oh, before I do that, make sure this is all right. Yeah, okay. Five, four, three, two, one, and blast off. Oh, I didn't did not put any uh, struts in between those, which could prove to be terrible. So far, it's looking all right. We're not overheating. Oh, yes, we are. If those get to half overheat before we run out of fuel, it doesn't look like they're going to. So I think we'll be all right. Let's see if our jet engines manage to do anything. I also do not put struts on those, but uh, we're still, no, we're not. We're not getting altitude anymore. Go. <laughs> Shit. Uh, those jet engines are not powerful enough to lift off that, that much weight. <laughs> Which is unfortunate. Oh uh, boy. So many, so many shift designs, so many unsuccessful. It's kind of grooving right there, look at that head bob. It's a lot of wobble, I'm glad I'm not uh, attempting to manually control this. Almost depleted the fuel tanks on there. Again, not gonna get us very far. Where's our apple apps is at? Oh man. We might get a hundred meters, maybe. Throttle those down. 
as we reach apoapsis of just under 100 meters. Wasteful through the last of that fuel, eject all that, uh, turn off SAS and rotate ourselves here to a 90 degree bearing. And let ourselves get up to 100 before, or I guess, oh shit. And we're falling fast. All right, let's crank this up. See where we're at when we get to half fuel. Uh, all right, we're going to attempt a landing. We will let ourselves get to the other end of this apoapsis here. On the other end of our arc. And then try and right ourselves straight up and see if we can't, with the remainder of this fuel, land ourselves correctly. Oh, I can't move it faster. All right. We're locked pretty hard straight up and down, thanks to SAS. Um, as soon as we reach, say, 10,000 10, meters, I'm going to start a burn to try and counteract our fall. Let's go with 15. How about that? All right. All right, let ourselves down gently here. That was a little too early. Let's let that accelerate a little bit more due to gravity. Start it up again at a thousand. Maybe a little earlier. Ah, too much, too much, too much. That sass is really helping me out here. Man, this is hard to hard to manage. Oh, hello, SAS turning off completely. What is going on? Something happened there that just completely disabled my ability to keep the ship upright. I don't know what. <sighs> All right, more failure, more progress. There's my parachute landing. Oh, jeez. Alright. I'm going to end the video there, guys. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.